New tonight, patients create nurseries for their newborns, but researchers at San Antonio's Texas Biomed recently had the same task. Then these new bundles of joy, they weren't human, they're monkeys. And the purpose went beyond providing a comfortable place to sleep. Eyewitness News reporter Jeremy Baker shows us the unique work researchers are doing to eradicate infectious diseases. Meet Martin and Joseph. Both are veterinary research technicians at Texas Biomed. Last year in April, we were placed on a TV project. They were just two of the presenters at a research symposium today focused on studies conducted by the San Antonio organization. Last year, they were given a special assignment. We were given a project that was going to require infant macaques. Uh, and we did not have currently a nursery at that time, so we had to put one together. They had to make new homes for 24 infants. Once we had everything we needed, we did it in a day. Really, we were able to put the incubators together and the shelving that we needed. So why use macaques for the six-month study? Physiologically, their bodies behave the same way as, the, as ours do. Bodies these two researchers watched grow from day one, treating them like their own children. You basically become a parent, but they grow super fast, they're super smart, and they all have different personalities, so we, we get to know them really well. Even teaching them how to eat. We made them uh, self-sufficient so they could uh, feed off the bottles. Inside the incubator, they use these phone holders for your car, but it's holding a bottle of formula made of Similac, but they prepare it in a very special way. We actually had to use distilled jug water for them when we made their formula, uh, just because tap water could have things in it as well. Things like pathogens, which need to stay out because... The healthier animals make for more accurate uh, biomedical research. Research with more accurate results. Jeremy Baker, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.